what's good? It's your girl Lo, and we is back, boo boo. Hold up. We is back, and we is good because today we have for you a room tour video. Okay, I just cleaned my room the other day. And I was like, you know what? She's looking good. She's looking clean. Let's film a room tour. Why not? I personally absolutely love watching room tour videos. I think they are so fun. I love to see other people's rooms and houses. I am one of those girls who watches HGTV literally all day, every day. Fixer upper, house hunters, love it or list it, fam, yes. Besides that, I just all around love interior design, house shopping and apartment shopping and living spaces. It is definitely one of my little hobbies and and whatever. This is my second year living in this apartment. I've done a few things to my room, not anything really major because the space is so small, so I only have I can't really like rearrange the furniture a lot. Well, really at all because of how tiny my room is and the layout. You know, I've done some little tweaks here and there with the deco. But I've always wanted to film a room tour video, so I'm pretty excited. Guys, sidebar, I am shook. Wanna know why I'm shook? Because right before I filmed this video, I was watching Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory video. It just came out, I think, like a day or two ago, but oh my god, guys. Um, what the f*** is this? Okay, you guys just witnessed it. I did not say, hey Siri. Guys, what the f***? What the actual f***? What? No, this is freaky. Because guys, a few of the theories in the video is about like iPhone conspiracy theories and how the phone is always listening, always watching you, um, and all this freaky shit. The phone is always listening. Alrighty guys, but yeah, literally go watch Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory video. It is amazing. I love Shane. He's hilarious, but go watch it. It's great. Let's just get right into the video. Been sitting in there trying to film the uh, intro to the uh, room tour video, getting ready to close my door and enter it to show you guys my room and <laughs> what do I smell? My pizza burning! I freaking forgot I put a pizza in the oven so uh, she's a little burnt. She burnt. I'm still gonna eat her. I don't mind my stuff a little crispy. Whoops. Alrighty guys, so to get to my room, we have to go down this lovely hallway that we have. The my door is the first door on the right, right here. And then Katie's room is right there, and then Jaden's room is right there. Let's just get right into my crib. So I'm TV, welcome to my crib, though. This is what you see when you walk in. Okay, pretty much the whole thing because it is very, very small. So I guess I will just start off with my little hat wall over here. I basically just wanted to do a hat wall, so that's what I did. I have my hats actually hung up on a command hook, and I have a bunch of bags hanging right here on this one hook because I literally have no closet space. So I just threw them on this hook and then threw this hat back on top of it to still blend in with the whole hat wall shebang shaboom moving on to over here so I actually got my side table from Ikea and we put her together it's just like a really nice light unfinished wood look on top of her and I just have my little Martian soda bottle that I got from when me and Katie went to area 51 and I put some lavender and then some roses I got. I just have this little mug from Anthro that I planted my little cactus in that I got from Joshua Tree. And I have an Anthro candle over here. I have this eucalyptus mint candle. I have my classic glass Buddha head that I got a while ago. Her name's Dorota. Yes, after Gossip Girl. And then I just have her sitting on top of this really cute little tin lunchbox from the dollar store and I just thought it was so dope. It has little burgers and fries on it. And then I have this 
lip phone that I freaking got a few days ago from Jaden for our Christmas. Down here I just have a basket from Ikea that has sunglasses in it and then I have all my sunglasses that I use like every day on top of some Vogue mags. I just have all my perfume stacked up against the wall here and my favorite of course is the Wonderstruck she is everything. So when we come into this drawer, and here I'm not gonna go too into detail, I just have my camera, some wires, my headphones, uh, nighttime medicine to help me sleep, a leave, lighters, luggage tags. I have this cool toy we got at the McDonald's drive-in. This little stitch Jaden gave me, and then I have some surfboard wax for my surfboard, and then my bucket list journal and a crosswords puzzle for when I go on airplanes and travel. So yeah, just a bunch of random stuff in there. So moving on to my bed. I got my bed frame on Amazon, and I will try and find it and link it down below. I got my duvet cover from Pottery Barn Teen. I got this little pillow from Society6 and that pillow from Society6. This little guy from Target. And then I got the big fluffy pillow from PB Teen. And then I have my really cool headboard that I absolutely love. Let me kind of move the pillow so you can get a better glimpse at it. So this is my headboard and it's actually meant to be on a twin bed and I have a full size bed but we still kind of made it work. Obviously it doesn't fit the whole size of the bed but when I have pillows over it you honestly cannot tell. I love it. I fell in love with it. It's very bohemian. Just above my bed I have this little pom-pom garland that I got at Mary Barn Kids. She's really cute. And right above my side table I have this little hang in plants and I got the plant from Ikea. It's a fake plant. Don't let me fool you. So over in this corner I just have my surfboard. I literally have nowhere to keep it so I just stuck her in the corner there. I just put some Christmas lights around it to make her nice and fun, make her festive, and to kind of have a nice little chill mood when I turn off all the lights. Right here I just have my, my child. His name is Lamar. And he is my plant, and no joke, when I first got this plant, I got him a couple weeks after I first moved in. He was literally the height of my headboard, and now he is almost at the ceiling. So my boy, he's growing big, and he's growing strong. I love Lamar. He's had some, you know, mishaps here and there, like his leaf did break recently, but I put a little cast on him. And he's still surviving, so it's fine. So moving on to my desk corner. I have just a bunch of freaking clothes on the floor because I have no room in my closet and I actually just thrifted this stuff recently. So there will be a video on it soon of my shoes that I pretty much wear every day, my Doc Martens and my Fila's. Um, over in this little corner, I just have my skateboard my portfolio, and then my tripod. And on the wall over here, I just have this really cool little wicker mirror. And I actually found this on the side of the road in West Hollywood. They're like, why would you throw this away? She's a gem, a stop. And I just have all my little gold necklaces hanging. And here is my inspiration wall. Um, here's a little restaurant we like to go to in Malibu called Neptune's Nut. Great seafood. Here's a little photo of me and Bobby Burke from Queer Eye. My 2019 goals right there. My freaking UFO license. Yeah, bitch. I'm a registered alien. Catch me in the galaxy cruising through the six in my freaking hovercraft, bitch. And I got this really cool photo from the Melrose Trading Post. It just has a mermaid in the freaking desert and a bunch of other stuff all along the wall. Oh, so this is my desk and I got my desk from Target. My chair is from World Market and the pillow on there is from Ikea. So on my desk, I just have my makeup over here, my mirror, this little bin that I got from Pottery Barn Kids. It's actually a diaper thingy, but I use it to keep some beauty stuff in there and some extra makeup. Then I have my lipsticks over here. I just keep my rings in this little dish, my earrings over there. And then just this little cactus I got in Texas, actually at Magnolia Farms. I just have this magazine, my planner, and then my notebook where I write all my to-do lists. Inside my desk, 
I just have a bunch of random stuff, nothing exciting. This little basket, which is on the floor right here, I got this at Pottery Barn Kids as well. I used to work at Pottery Barn Kids, so I used to snatch good items. I actually got this one on sale, or when I saw them, I used to get them with like my discount because some of the stuff in there is so cute. I just keep sweatshirts and sweaters in there, and then when summer comes, I'll switch it out and I'll put like my bathing suits in there. And then I just have my backpack that I've been using lately on there. On the floor here, you can see I have my rug. I got this rug on newloom.com and it's a rug website. I just wanted a really cute, vintage, bohemian, distressed looking rug. And I did want some color in my room because clearly I have a lot of white and woods and I wanted to bring in some color and fun. It has a bunch of baby pinks and blues in it and some yellow, some mustard tones in there. Just a whole bunch of really pretty colors intertwined. Alright, moving on to my closet. So this is my one side of my closet. I basically just have a lot of my jackets, blazers, and shirts here. Up top I have my skirts and my shorts here. And then I just have some shoes up here. I have some flats, some boots. My freaking weave over there. My ponytail weave. Hell yes. Her name's Brienne. She's a gem. She comes out to play sometimes. Then down here I just have a bunch of my shoes. I have my boots up there, some flats, heels on the bin, have all my sneakers down here. And then I just have some more clothes put away that I'm not wearing right now. And then on this side you can see I have my bags, some baseball hats up there. And then I keep basically all like my tank tops, pants, lots of pants, and then dresses and rompers on this side. I also have this little bin in there which has like my underwear, pajamas, socks, exercising stuff and comfy clothes down there. Over here I have some baseball hats and belts hanging there on some command hooks and my laundry bag down there. That is my closet, very tight on space, but we've made it work. Yes, sis! That is the tea for today. end of my room tour video. I hope I could give you guys some ideas on kind of how to maybe decorate your room, especially if you guys have a smaller room, because it's really hard to, you know, make a room look the way you want to, obviously, in a smaller space. I understand. I feel you. You can make it work. I promise you, you can. You just got to really think it through. And even if you cannot really change the layout of your room like I can, you can always change the style. Your limits are literally endless when it comes to changing the way I everything else looks around you. P.S. Watch what y'all are saying because the phone is always listening. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch y'all on the mother flipping flop dough.